This is what I ate on my first time in a Japanese bullet train. I started with a bento box which had a huge rice bowl and a lot of deep fried items. First, the rice bowl, well seasoned, nice. Next up, a skewer with what I thought was rice cake. Turns out they're these cute deep fried tiny eggs. 10 out of 10. Moving on, something that looks like a meatball, a solid 8 out of 10. Okay, this one, honestly, I can tell what it is. It looks like pickled garlic, but it didn't taste like garlic. I took the second bento box from my Japanese neighbor. This one came with more rice, fried shrimps, chicken, and pickled side dishes. Let's take a bite of that deep fried shrimp. Not bad. The bento box came with different condiments, so let's put some mayo on the shrimp and soy sauce for the chicken. Mm, yummy, 9 out of 10. It's just a lunchbox, but the food quality is amazing. Also, I made a little sushi with fried shrimp for my editor. I think he loved it. By the way, Himeji was beautiful. I saw a cat in a castle. The next destination was Miyajima, and I got a bento box with thin roast beef slices. It came with a sweet soy sauce. Taste test? Mm, yummy. Then I noticed that my neighbor took off his shoes, so did my editor. Anyway, I enjoyed the last bits and went to sleep. In Miyajima, my editor even made new friends. The next day, I took the train to Shirahama Beach. I almost got kicked off the train because I didn't know I had to reserve seats. But that didn't stop me from enjoying the sandwich with pork cutlets and the sweet pancake filled with red bean paste and whipped cream. To be honest, the sandwich was slightly on the drier side, but overall, everything was very tasty. For the ride back to Osaka, I went to Family Mart for snack shopping. I ended up with a soft serve ice cream, and I think Family Mart has the best one out there. And because I'm a generous soul, I shared it with my editor, of course.